I'm going to make uh, dahi bada or dahi bhalli what we call today but for this what we need is uh, urad dal or uh, moong dal or a mixture of both of them we need to soak them in water for around 3 to 4 hours or even more and then blend them in a blender get the batter but if you are lazy like I am today you can get buy it from any soap dahi bada and we just need to mix this in water and the batter will be ready so i'm going to do that for this we need either urad dal or ready made bada powder oil yogurt tamarind chutney salt to taste ground garam masala ground coriander powder ground cumin seeds or any other spices that you want to put over the butter empty the sachet in a bowl So the sachet say that we need around 250 gram of water but I'm not going to mix all the water in one go because sometimes what the amount they say might be too much. As I put the water and I'm mixing it, is the amount of uh, all this batter is growing because uh, when it soaks uh, water it's uh, it becomes more my battery is almost uh, mixed with the water i'm going to leave it for 10 to 15 minutes though you can always leave it for a little longer because uh, if you leave longer it's not going to hurt but if you leave for less time then it might not be ready for making bada now my batter is ready if we had made our batter ourselves we could have mixed some jeera seeds and or even nuts if you want but because we have bought it from the shop and it's made from the sachet we already have these cumin seeds inside this so it saves a lot of time and it looks quite good once the oil is ready i will start now i will start putting a small balls of this batter remember not to put too much oil because we can't use this oil too after after once we have boiled it so use as little oil as you can and i will start putting a small balls of this batter into the oil It doesn't matter what shape they become. Ideally, this should be round, but if we, we can't make them round, it doesn't matter much because they will still taste the same. Once they start turning brownish, golden red, we know that is the time to take them out of the oil and they are almost ready use a kitchen towel or uh, a newspaper so that it can soak uh, extra oil out of uh, this but well, we, we can call them dumplings that's what the Chinese people call these kind of things and they look already nice so let me make all of them so I got around 20 Bhalle or bada, they are not of same size, as, but what matters is uh, for me is they are and they are fresh. So even if uh, we eat them without putting into curd or dahi, they should taste nice. I, let me taste one. Uh -huh. It reminds me of those days when I was living in Lajpandaga, New Delhi and I used to go almost every weekend, particularly on Sunday in the afternoon. There used to be many Therewala people who used to sell all these uh, bada with the uh, green chutney and that used to be very hot because uh, Delhi is hot all the time and they 
just get from the kadhai and give the hot this bada with the green chutney that used to be quite spicy and that used to taste nice but they are very similar to the, that i will not say better than that but they are very similar now i am going to put them in the butter so i will put all these uh, dumplings of bhalla in cold water after putting because uh, when they will be in water for around one or two hours they will soak and they will become fat basically and some of the oil will go get out of this uh, these dumplings into the water excuse the water out of the bada before serving you can put all these bada into yogurt together so that the yogurt or curd will go into this but because i don't need all of them so i'm just going to put yogurt over the, these bada it's not the perfect way but, but it should taste the good taste good put the tamarind chutney and yogurt they already look so good this yogurt over the the red chutney looks so good put all the spices thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you once again